Hello, Mum. I'm home. Don't mum me, Craig. I'm not your father. Oh, I didn't try to call you, Mum. Of course you call me Mum. After all, I am your mother. And mothers don't grow on trees, Craig. Oh. <laughs> Mum, it was only a couple of days. Please, Craig, what about the nuts? Well, what about them? What did you do? What were they like? Oh, very dark, Mum. <laughs> What, what did you do during these so-called dark nights? I went to sleep. <laughs> oh, oh, Craig, how could you? Well, I must admit, I must admit it was a bit difficult at times. Uh, Mum, I'm over 21. I'm, I'm old enough to worry about myself. What would you know about worry? You're not a mother yet. You're not even a father yet. Oh. Or, or is there something you'd like to tell me? Oh, Mum. Well, is there, Craig? Come on, oh, tell Mom. me. Come on, out with the Craig. Tell Mom, me. All right. I met a girl. I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> Mum, if you'll only listen, I'll tell you. I'm not interested. What's her name? Wendy. Wendy Craig? No, Wendy Craig's the actress. This one is Wendy Brown. Never heard of her. What happened to Kathy? We split up. When? When I met Wendy. What's this Wendy? Is she a nice girl? Oh, yeah, she's terrific. Well, Kathy was such a nice girl, Craig. Nice home. Mm. Nice parents. What's Wendy got that, that Kathy hasn't got? A flat. A flat what? <laughs> a flat by herself. Am, am, am I to understand that while I have been ironing my fingers sick with worry, you've been cavorting in some girl's flat for three days? Well, yeah. <laughs> now, after three days, you come home. Why? I'm tired. <laughs> I haven't slept a week. Oh, come on, Mum. It's Mom. true, Craig. My eyes may have been closed, but my brain was wide open. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Mum. I didn't mean to upset you. This... this Wendy. Are we going to get to meet her? Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Is she pretty? Yeah. What about her parents? No, I wouldn't call Mr Brown pretty. <laughs> have they met you? Oh, nearly. But it was too quick. <laughs> when do we get to meet this Wendy girl? Oh, I don't know. Whenever you like. There's no hurry, is there? Oh, you're quite right, Craig. We'll make it tomorrow night. So why tomorrow night? Because tonight your father will not be his normal, happy self. He had to go to the chiropractor's today. Oh, no. He hasn't done his back in again, has he? When did he do it? Yesterday, when he was taking the greyhounds for a walk. Uh, now? trying to lift Repco Lad into the wheelbarrow. <laughs> oh, Craig. Craig, it was awful. His back just locked up. Then I had to go and tip them out into the kennel. <laughs> I don't think those dogs will ever race properly, Craig. They'll never race at all, Mum. In fact, I don't reckon they're greyhounds. I reckon there's a bit of something else in them. What? Horse. <laughs> They were getting a bit on the large side, but your father credits that to his new racing diet. Well, what's that? Peanut butter sandwiches. <laughs> well, if that doesn't make him run, nothing will. <laughs> you, I'm home. Oh, look out, it's the Groucho marks of going to heights. <laughs> what happened? Nothing. Someone should blow chiropractors up. Where's me opener? Ted, I thought Mr. Grizzle Thump was going to fix your back today. So did I. But as per bloody usual, the whole world is plotting against me. Oh, Dad, who'd want to plot against you? Where is that opener? Well, well what happened? I had to stagger up ten floors. Why? Because I couldn't reach the button in the lift. <laughs> and that made me half an hour late, and the snotty little receptionist said, I'm sorry, Mr. Bullpit, he's been called away to an urgent conference in Boston. But surely they have their own chiropractor in Boston? And everyone else's. The place is crawling with them, all slapping each other on the back trying to drum up business. Where is that bloody thing? Is this what you're looking for? <sighs> Watch it, mate. I've had quite enough of your devil-may-care bottle opener attitude. Yeah, 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 sure, Dad. Bloody kids. Give them a face full of pimples and they think they own the world. <laughs> Would you like me to pour it for you, dear? Are you mad, woman? I want a beer, not an ice cream. <laughs> well, what is happening? Read your back. Well, I said to her, Thelma, listen, you loony little disco bird, I want my back fixed, or I'll have you drummed out of the receptionist centre. Oh. <laughs> you didn't say that to her face. No, to her belt buckle. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do? I'm going to get to see his partner tomorrow morning. That's if he gets back from his whiplash convention in Fiji. Where's me paper? In the lounge room. Oh. 
Okay, yeah. now is the time you should have a talk with Craig. Yeah, all right. You promise me you will? Yeah, what do you want me to say to him? You're his father. I'll leave that up to you. Right, eh? Right. Yeah. Hey. My paper, I paid for it, I'll colour it in. <laughs> all right? Yeah, I can manage, I can manage. Your mother asked me to have a word with you, so I'm going to. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We've had quite enough of it, so knock it off. What? Don't you know? <laughs> no. I'm buggered if I know. <laughs> Grinch, you've been here for five minutes. Aren't you going to notice my dress? I noticed it when I came in. And? Well, it's, um, it's lovely. You hate it. No, I don't. No, I know. Don't, Greta. I know exactly what you're going to say. It's too continental daring. Too Princess Grace-ish. No. Uh, too Lady Sonia McMahon-ish. <laughs> no, I think you're more of a dame. Dame Margaret Guilfoyle. Dame Edna Everidge. <laughs> oh, thank you, Grit. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> For a moment, I thought it might have been a bit too showy. <laughs> oh, no, Mum, I was joking. Uh, pardon me? What, what, what do you mean, joking? Well, because Dame Edna Everidge isn't who you think she is. She's a man. <laughs> Come again, Grit. <laughs> Dame Edna Everidge is a man? <laughs> Get these silly ideas. <laughs> <laughs> she can't be. <laughs> Why not? Because then she'd be so at the average. <laughs> She's got to be a woman. Goth Whitlam himself stained her. No, no, that was part of his act. His real name's Barry Humphreys. Well, why did he change it to Gough Whitlam? <laughs> no. Gough Whitlam's always been Gough Whitlam, but Dame Edna Everidge's real name is Barry Humphreys. Oh, I can see where you've got confused, Greet. Humphreys must have been her maiden name. <laughs> I'm right, aren't I, Greet? Yes, Mum. <laughs> oh, Greet, you, would you put this in the oven? Oh, I do hope Craig's Wendy likes roast lamb. Mum, everyone likes roast lamb. No, 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 not everyone, Greet. She might belong to one of those peculiar religions that won't eat anything that's been frozen. Oh, I'm sure it'll be fine and she'll be very nice and she'll love the roast as long as you remember that you don't thicken gravy with icing sugar oh, <laughs> oh great your father was only trying to help <laughs> but thank heavens Bruno said he'd choose the wines for tonight we don't want a repeat of the time his vicar and his wife came for dinner <laughs> oh what happened well i asked him to go down to the bottle shop and choose something imported and bubbly <laughs> and came back with a carton of guinness <laughs> Vicar turned out to be allergic to stout, so Ted soaked all the labels off and tried to tell him it was sparkling bonox. <laughs> oh, hello, dear. How was you? Oh, gosh, your back's back. Yeah, of course it's back. You didn't think I'd leave it overnight to get a grease and oil change, did you? <laughs> Mind you, the prices those Kairos charge today would probably be cheaper to give a grease and oil change to Al Grasby. Uh, wh what are you doing here? Hello, Dad. Yeah. Did the wog get the plonk? <laughs> if you're asking if Bruno has bought the wine, the answer is yes. Yeah. Now listen to me, Miss Smarty Wishbone no, no, Legs. Ted, Ted, Rita and Bruno have been helping. Now Craig and Wendy will be here soon, so you better go and have a shower. For you, mad woman, I'll get wet. <laughs> Besides, I haven't read Mandrake yet. Uh, where's my paper? In the lounge room. Good day, Tettles. Yep. Well, there's your wine. I just wish we were staying for dinner so I could help you knock it off. Well, you're not, so give us the change. What change? Oh, that'd be right. It's probably halfway to Italy now to bring out your starving relatives out here. <laughs> Listen, mate, Italians have done a lot for this country. Well, I suppose somebody had to buy all those valiants. <laughs> Come on, give us the change. You only gave me two bucks. Yeah, that's right. Come on, fork it over. But even doing a deal, it cost me 20 bucks. 20 bucks for Plonk? Who'd you get to crush the grapes, the Pope? <laughs> it's a very reasonable price. Reasonable? Listen, mate, 
Even when I had to fork out for your freeloading family for your wedding, I still managed to get six dozen bottles of Great Master Budget Bubbly for 15 bucks. Yeah, but it didn't go very far, did it? What do you mean? Well, it kept eating through the bottom of the cups. <laughs> we had glasses. You had glasses. You made my family drink out of paper cups. They weren't just any ordinary paper cups. They were special. They had the family crest branded on them. What? All the best from BP. <laughs> That's right. BP. Bull pit. Right, you're cheap. No wonder you don't appreciate the finer things in life. Appreciate the finer things? Me? Listen, mate, I bet you haven't got a Mona Lisa calendar in the dunny. Uh, well, that's real class. These, these wines will be wasted on you. Bull. They're my wines and I'm going to pay for them one day. Now, what have I got? Well, you've got a Cabernet Shiraz, a Cabernet Sauvignon, a Hermitage and a Chardonnay. Well, I know, I know, but what about the wines? Where are they? <laughs> these are all wines. Don't shout at me. Well, they're different styles of wines, you know, different grapes and different pickings. See, you got... This is bin 60, this is bin 28, and this is bin 35. I don't care what they've been, what are they now? <laughs> don't break them, they're real wine glasses. Took me hours trying to scrape the price stickers off them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where, where do I put them? On the table! Well, I know that. I'm not going to put them under the table, stupid woman. Whereabouts on the table? Above the Knives. Above the knives? How can I put them, balance them on the knives, woman? Next to the knives. I knew that. Right, what are the candles for? For Wendy. Oh, must be a birthday. <laughs> right, well, that's it. Uh, can I sit down now? Oh, yes. About bloody time. Man never gets to read Mandrake in this house. G'day, Dad. God, it's hard. Come in. Uh, Dad, I'd like you to meet Wendy Brown. Wendy, this is my father. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Bulpit. Uh, G'day. Uh, happy birthday. Why, well, I, I haven't... <laughs> well, I haven't bought you a present because, oh, fair go, I wouldn't know you from Adam. <laughs> no, it's not my birthday. Oh, well, that saved me some money. <laughs> Hang on. Is it your birthday? No, Dad. Oh, that's good, because I haven't got a present for you, either. <laughs> Dad, it is no one's birthday. Well, what are the candles for? I don't know. For decoration, I suppose. Well, why don't we use paper hats? Dad, please. Uh, look, uh, I'll just go and tell Mum we're here. Uh, why don't you sit down, Wendy? Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, oh no, not there. No. Why not? Uh, that, that's uh, Dad's chair. Oh. I love my chair. <laughs> <laughs> While you're out there, perhaps your girlie would like a drink. Would you like a drink, Kathy? It's windy. Well, uh, oh. Thank you. Yeah, well, what about a cordial? Now about a nice cordial, eh? Dad. Oh, well, uh, a sherry? I think thelma has got some sherry out there somewhere. No, thank you. Ah, oh, well, I don't know. Um, rum, do you drink rum? <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, I'd rather like a beer. A beer? Leave the money Dad. on it. Yeah. <laughs> Get back in the flesh. <laughs> Well. Yeah. <laughs> Craig's told me a lot about you. Why? <laughs> uh, uh, well, I, I don't know. <laughs> oh. Do you happen to read Mandrake? No. Well, you won't mind if I do. <laughs> Craig was telling God, me... God, it's hard. <laughs> Craig was telling me that, that, that you like um, Holdens. Yeah, well, I'm Australian, aren't I? Oh, yes. Yes. Is there anything you'd like to ask me? Well, yeah. What? Do you like Holdens? I love Holdens. I, I think they're the best cars on the road. In fact, I don't think you can go past a Holden. Good girl. What have you got? A Honda. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I'm going to shove it over the gap tomorrow. Wendy. Oh, thank God. Um, Wendy, this is Mum. Mum, Wendy. Hello, Wendy. I'm very pleased to meet you, Mrs. Bulpert. Oh. So, you're the new girl who's been occupying so much of my little Craigie's time. Oh, please. Now that we've officially met, I, 
I'm sure we're going to see a lot more of each other. <laughs> well, you must come over and visit us sometime. Pardon, dear? <laughs> oh, hasn't Craig told you? We're going to live together. <laughs> oh, Ted! Craig's leaving home! Does he want a hand with his luggage? <laughs> Well, that's it, Dad. I should hope so. Look at all this junk. It must have cost me a fortune over the years. Anyway, you're on your own now, so Kathy will have to support you. Oh, it's Wendy. Yeah, who cares, as long as I'm not paying the bills. <laughs> Just a minute. You're not taking that. Well, why not? That's my phantom comic I stole fair and square from Bob when we were kids. Oh, you don't need it. That's not the point, it's mine. You buy your own comics. Yeah, well, I don't want your rotten old comic anyway. Well, why'd you try to nick it then? I didn't know it was there. Uh, that'd be right. What else here, Pinchy? What else have you got down there? Nothing. Uh, have, you got any, have you got any of my beer? No. What about my war souvenirs to impress your girl? You haven't got any. Yes, I have. What about that, that wristle that saved me life? <laughs> you know, the one with the Jap bullet stuck in it. I haven't seen that for years. Yeah, that's because you ate it. The time Mum went to Melbourne. Oh, all right. Well, come on, let's get this stuff out in the boot. Hey, what about your back? Oh, all right, it's strong enough to get all this junk out of the house. And if you don't hurry up, I'll chuck you in the boot oh, too. Yeah. Craig? Yeah. Here you are, Craig. Some, oh. some sandwiches to take with you to remind you of home. Oh, Mum. <laughs> you didn't have to. You... They're your favourites. Fish paste. And they'll keep for ages if you don't eat them first. Um, Mum, I'm sure Wendy will know how to make sandwiches. Well, well just to be on the safe side, Craig, you, you, you give them to her so she'll know how to make them. All right, Mum. You will ring me up? Oh, Mum, we're not on the phone. Oh, well, in that case, then I'll ring you. <laughs> Here's your last hanky. I am the correct way. Oh. You, you give it to Cathy so she won't go wrong. Oh, Mum, anyone can iron a hanky. Anyone, Craig? Anyone? Well, OK, apart from Dad, anyone can iron a hanky. <laughs> Craig, just one little last request, which I know you won't deny your mother. All right, what is it, Mum? Don't go! Oh, no. <laughs> right, everything's in the boot. There's only one more thing left to go. What? You, let's go. Yeah, right. Bye-bye, <laughs> Mum. Oh, bother the girl. So I say goodbye to my boy. Hello to her, man. Jeez, oh, Mum. You're leaving me for another woman. Goodbye, Mum. Oh, <laughs> oh. Uh, well, now we've got that mother glomp out of the way, I can buy a fishing boat. Edward Melba Bulpit, how could you thrust your only son into the arms of that Jezebel? Oh, Kathy. Wendy. Oh, that's all right. She's not too bad. He could have done worse. After all, she's going to be one of those doctor things. We'll now have a second opinion in the family. <laughs> and you, his own father and blood, you didn't lift a finger to stop him. I couldn't. I was too busy helping load his luggage. <laughs> They're not even married. She's a scarlet woman. She's not, Phil. She's a very nice girl. She's got beauty and brains, and she's oh. going to earn a quid. Let's face it, she could do far better than marry a dill like Craig. Oh, well, mark my words. It'll end in tears. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dad! Oh. Yeah, coming, coming. Oh. Oh. Good night, Dad. Yeah. Oh. So he's really going, is he? Yeah, of course he's going. Oh, great to look after your mother, will you? Oh. oh, Mum, it'll be all right. Come and sit down and calm down. He's gone, great. Taken everything and left. How about a nice cup of tea? No, he wouldn't take a cup of tea. <laughs> Only a fish paste sandwich. <laughs> Don't worry, Mrs B. It's the same in every family. I remember when I left home, exactly the same thing happened. You took a fish paste sandwich too? <laughs> Actually, it was some of Mum's meatballs. <coughs> yeah, and they're still in the freezer. Well, she likes to check up. Don't worry, Mrs B. You're going to be seeing Craig sooner or later. Well, it's going to be sooner than he expects. <laughs> Why? Because he's forgotten his books. Right. This is the lot. Where do you want him? I'll kill Craig for not helping you. Where is he? He's probably still at the uni where I dropped him. <laughs> Besides, it's not like you're losing a son. It's more like gaining a fishing boat. <laughs> yeah, where do you want these? Um, over there. Yeah, yeah. right. Oh, geez, they're heavy. Oh, no, what? over here. Oh, make up your mind, woman. <sighs> Here. Yeah, I'm sorry. Right. 
Oh, oh, ha, he, oh, What's the matter? It's me back, it's me back, it's gone again, it's gone again. Well, just relax and I'll fix no, it for don't you. Don't touch me, don't touch me. Mr. Bullpit, I'm a physio. I don't care if you're Presbyterian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fully qualified physiotherapist. I know what I'm doing. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. I've got a bit of paper to prove it. Well, I'm all right. All right, come here. Put this arm. Yeah. Over here. Oh. And this arm. Over oh. here. And oh. I'll just get my arms around your oh. waist like this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I've never had it done like this. this <laughs> oh. Just relax, oh. and this will make you feel wonderful. Oh, I feel oh. wonderful. Oh. <laughs> Sandwiches are really something different, Mrs. Bullpit. Oh, thank you. I'll make you another batch tomorrow. Oh, no, please don't. I mean, there's no need. Now that you've so kindly shown me how to make them. Oh, <laughs> Wendy, I, I am so sorry about the misunderstanding. I mean, had I really thought about it, I mean, you and my Ted is just ridiculous. <laughs> it certainly is. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of women have said I'm something special, you know, not like your average bloke. Well... That's the gist of what they say. <laughs> yeah, anyway, enough of this uh, sex appeal glob. Uh, the footy's on, Phil. Come on, let's go. Where are the keys? Oh, Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh! Oh! oh. Ah! Oh. We back's gone again! Oh, God, he's done oh. it again. No, Wendy. This time it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. This is going to hurt a bit. Bloody woman! 